While this was unexpected, after years of complaints about broken packs and bugs in Sims 4, the team just made a major announcement that could change both their frequency and impact of patches it sounds a lot better than their usual apology notes. To our community, we know that technical issues in The Sims 4 have interrupted your gameplay and we recognize this has caused much frustration. Today we can share that we have assembled a team to invest in the core game experience, including tackling your reported concerns. Concerns. This newly formed and focused team means we'll be able to increase both the number of fixes and the frequency with which we ship these batched updates. Our first release is scheduled for the next patch this May, with others following roughly every two months. Additionally, we'll continue making core improvements to the performance of Sims 4. Our next patch will include some optimization across platforms so the game uses less memory. As a result, you may experience fewer crashes, a better frame rate, and a more responsive simulation. Thank you for continuing to invest, blah blah blah, enough PR speak there. Now I will say this is much better than the other announcements. Why? Because we've gotten a lot of, we hear you, we'll do better, but we haven't actually heard actionable steps. And getting a new team, hopefully qualified new team, to address this I think is important. It sounds like they actually put in some money into this, some time and thought, which is actually pretty shocking given EA. I know some people are going to say, I don't want more frequent updates. However, it says others falling roughly every two months. So I think every two months is not really that frequent. And the only way to solve bugs is to patch them in. So yes, I'm not saying this is definitely going to fix things, but the fact that they're also focusing on stability issues, which I feel like they haven't done very much of, is absolutely huge, uh, hopefully, especially for console players. I feel like a lot of people don't realize just how bad the Sims 4 experience is for console players. I've heard from so many console players that they have to deal with not just lagging, but crashing. And that is absolutely game breaking. These are not small glitches and bugs that come and go. So I am actually pleased with this response. Some people are going to speculate this was done because of upcoming competitors. And I can't rule that out, but I also can't say that is the definitive reason. After all the Sims competitors so far, I'm not really sure how well they're doing and also how how well that will turn out. But regardless of the reason, I don't really care as long as it actually starts improving things in Sims 4. As far as the laundry list, remember these are not the only bugs they are working on, these are just the bugs they are prioritizing for the next patch. A trash can is required message will no longer display when trash cans are present. Dishes left in corners will no longer be ignored when cleaning up. Skills won't stay in alphabetical order. Plants won't grow weeds when out of season, so at least we're starting to work on some of these gardening bugs, sims can properly merge or remove households with NPC sims not in the world. Career and jobs don't require a daily task, no longer have a blank daily task menu. Campfire causing too many fires, they're going to work on that. Skills will not randomly increase or change when leaving the lot or editing the household. Summon grilled cheese interaction will no longer drop from the interaction queue. Sims will no longer get stuck in the ground and continue to swim laps. Calendar of notification light will no longer switch off after traveling. Customizable pronouns were adjusted to appear correctly on a few romantic interactions. Several packs are in the wrong order, so they're going to be fixing that too. That was a weird bug. For console, after switching to build mode from world map, a red bar will no longer display in the upper right hand corner. Goodness, it's hard to keep track of all the console bugs. Now on to pack specific issues. For cats and dogs, kittens will route downstairs without causing a route error. Small dogs and puppies will no longer route fail when using the elevator to go downstairs. Cottage living, hatchable eggs, and spoiled eggs will no longer disappear. I feel like that's come and gone, that bug. I don't know why. For dine out, order for table interaction will no longer get stuck in the interaction queue. Home chef hustle players will now add waffles to the restaurant menu if you want to with more menu additions to come. Eco lifestyle, there's an issue with nose rings breaking when paired with route piercing. For rent, which sadly needs way more fixes than this, but let's just see what they have. Fixing a dirty surroundings moodlet from the pressure kettle, property ownership lot will be recognized in the owned rental tab, and tourist location icons will now appear correctly when hoovering over the world. For get to work, aliens will stop having noticeable changes in facial structure when aging up. For growing together, the had a baby milestone unlocks after giving birth at a hospital. We love science-based 
babies that had baby milestone is now unlocked after having science babies for the first time. High school years after a teen sim attending high school completes all tasks and ACEs exams, they will be promoted to a better grade. Teens cannot send flirty messages to adults, thank goodness, let's get that fixed soon, or household family members. For Horse Ranch, sims will no longer autonomously want to buy mini goats and will stop triggering UI pop-ups. Nectar value is now properly increased when selling to the mysterious rancher. Horses will no longer get stuck sleeping when too close to the horse ball. For Island Living, mermaid conservationists can now complete a snorkel job task. For seasons during winter, sims will properly animate and remove weeds when a plant is surrounded by weeds. Last but not least, we have a few fixes for the gallery, which goodness knows needs them too. They're going to fix an issue with gallery users appearing in the following in followers tab, not displaying the number of followers correctly, and also profanity filter false positive reports sent to us if the survey have been reviewed and changes implemented. But it does sound like we're going to be getting more updates and there's going to be a more devoted team to it. My only question is why in the world was there not a team devoted to this more specifically before? I don't think it means there is no one, but clearly there was some restructuring. And I have to say at a time where so many AAA companies are cutting back on quality assurance, EA of course has been included in that. I definitely think this is a move back to the correct direction. I know some people are going to say, I don't care. I've already quit Sims 4. You're being naive. Realistically, I could go on and on about all the things they haven't done and all the things they have not done correctly. But if they look like they're starting to make a step in the right direction, I might as well be fair and acknowledge that too. So fingers crossed, this at least improves things. Not completely fixes Sims 4, but sets a better foundation for future simulation games. Thanks as always for watching. Please take care and I will see you in the next one.